9.30 on January 19th of 2019. It's the new year. Today is the night before we are going to inseminate. Um, I took an ovulation strip test today and the line was really, really dark, but just slightly lighter than the test line, meaning that we're going to wait another day. With the strips that we're using, the best time to inseminate and to try is the day that your line is the darkest because that means you'll ovulate 12 to 24 hours after that line and usually sperm lives three to five days fresh um frozen i think it's i think it's around three days so you want you want to get that window where you want to inseminate before the egg drops but you don't want to put it in so early that the sperm dies before the egg actually comes so the timing is a little tricky but um like the clinic that you're using if you choose to do it at a clinic will give you timing and if you're doing it at home just you know do your research but i'm very excited it's been kind of a difficult journey so far just for me being the carrying partner um i've gone through a lot of tests at the doctor lots of blood tests i think i've had 18 vials of blood taken so far and an hsg which i talked about in another video and it's just, uh, it's a lot on your body, but luckily I have been doing my best for the last, I'd say eight months, I think it's been about eight months, um, just eating and working out and trying to drink water. Being healthy and feeling good about your body definitely helps you get through it because I know with some of the, like the HSG tests, like I didn't feel like myself for a while. I don't, I don't know why, I just felt off, I guess feeling good is going to help in every aspect of your life not just in the fertility world so um christina's at work right now she's working a 12-hour shift from 7 p.m to 7 a.m um so i'm alone till she gets home tomorrow and then when she wakes up after sleeping tomorrow then we're gonna go and inseminate it's weird because i've I've dreamt about being a mom for as long as I can remember. I'd say since I was like five years old, probably, maybe even younger than that. Thinking about the reality of it happening is a little intimidating because, I mean, I feel like I know mostly what to expect. I've been around a lot of people that have carried and I have watched a lot of videos, some podcasts, and um, I'm sure when it happens, I'll read lots of books when I do get pregnant, but it's scary to think that my body won't feel like my body just because these last few months having worked out so much and just eating foods that make me feel so good and so energetic i feel more in tune with my body and i feel like once i get pregnant i don't know but i feel like that could take away from some of that so that's the only thing that really makes me nervous but overall i'm just excited i'm excited to try and i'm excited for me and christina to become moms and I don't know it's just something that I've always wanted and I may be young but this is the life that I've dreamt of and I'm just so excited that we get to do it now I have the best wife in the world that I would ever want as a partner to co-parent with and I feel very blessed that we get to do this and very blessed that um, I'm healthy and Christina's excited and we found a donor that we're really excited about. We'll update you guys afterward, after we do it tomorrow, and Christina will be with me so we can talk about more how we've been feeling. Um, let me just see if there's anything else I wanted to talk about. Oh, and I can make a separate video as well, just talking about things that you can do beforehand to prep your body, prep yourself, and do things that will hopefully increase fertility rates, but I'm not pregnant yet, so I can't really speak to if it works or not, but I guess um, once we find out we're pregnant, um, I can make a video about that. Um, but, but yes, this is our first attempt, so um, I can talk about the whole insemination process as well in another video. But tomorrow's the day, guys. We're going to make a baby. For this video, I just mostly wanted to talk about how I was feeling and I'm feeling excited. I'm a little bit nervous because I know the two-week wait will probably be long, but I'll probably talk about that again tomorrow with Christina. Maybe hopefully ways we can distract ourselves, but thanks for watching guys and hopefully I'll see you soon with an update.